Hey guys, how's it going? Here's back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. Of course, it's Tuesday night and it's time for a My Player episode. And as you can see on your screen, we're very, very close to achieving both of our goals and assists targets for the entire season already, even though we're still only in the January transfer window. We need one more goal and one more assist to meet both of those targets. We're above target on the... Uh, shot conversion percentage and not quite there with the average match rating yet but there's still plenty of time to uh, to turn that around as you can see we're rated 74 overall now we've had fantastic growth in this opening season and uh, we've been playing really really well specifically of late as well so i'm uh, very very pleased with how our form has been personally and of course how you guys have been receiving the videos as well we hit 7400 subscribers yesterday i believe you guys are off school at the minute with uh, with easter holidays so Enjoy your holidays, I guess. And, uh, of course, let's jump into this one. We've got a game against Stevenage. It's the first game. And let's have a quick look at the calendar and see who we've got after that. It's actually a cup game just two days later against Brentford in the Johnston's Paint Trophy. That, I think, is the area final. Over two legs, yes. The area final over two legs. So, massive, massive game for us today. And uh, hopefully we can come up with a win in both. But let's jump into the Stevenage game and see how we get on. Unfortunately, we're playing in the snow again. So conditions aren't necessarily going to be uh, particularly favourable. But as you can see, we still sat second in the league, still with that game in hand. So uh, very, very important that we maintain our run of good form recently. Fingers crossed we can come out with a win against Stevenage here, away from home. Lovely ball over the top by Massinho, looking for Darius Charles. He's racing away into the box. Can he get a shot away? Can, but it's really, really poor. Perhaps he should have taken that on his right foot. That just was absolutely scuffalicious. Don't know what. Well, no, none of you will actually know this. Don't know why I was going to say. I don't know whether of you know this, but a friend of mine is actually in a relationship with Darius Charles, that Stephen is striker. Uh, don't know why you needed to know that, but I thought you know it's a little bit of miscellaneous information that might add something to the video. <laughs> Find some Murphy, make the run off him, he's played the return ball, can we stand it up, we can do, is Billy there with a the header, he is, it's off the base of the, boys. it's off the base of the post, that was a chance to get our fifth and final assist that we need to uh, complete our league objectives, and unfortunately we hit the boys of the post and uh, we go in at half time at nil nil, not the most exciting of, uh, of first halves, but a chance, a uh, decent chance each, fortunately for us Darius Charles was a little bit wasteful, Unfortunately for them, we hit the post and not the back of the net. But into the second half we'll go. And we'll try and get a better performance in the second half in the snow. Hashtag rhyming for fun. Chabangu on the overlap. And me on the over overlap. Keep this in, we can. I'm going to cut back inside. Stand it up, looking for Billy Painter. He's there, he's got the header on it and he's into the back of the net. Vision goes up one. That is the 10th assist of our career. It's the fifth one in the league. We've managed to reach our league objective for the assists already halfway through January. We are having a phenomenal season here on loan at Sheffield United. We're definitely the best player in the team right now. Trying not to be too big-headed about it, but to be fair, 74 rated in League One. We definitely are the best player in this team right now. and We've managed to pick the ball up from kickoff. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, not the strongest player in League One right now, and we get bullied off it. But we won it up, and that's all that matters. Very, very pleased. And it's found Chibangu again. I'm going to back away a little bit. We get the uh, the ball into feet. We get the shot away. Good save by the goalkeeper. Shot power goes up one. That was our 70th shot on target of our entire career so far. Can we get anything from the corner? It's coming our way. I'm going to try and knock it down if I can. Although apparently, I am just going to fall over. But we get the ball. Can Harris do anything with it out wide? His back start. I'm going to call for it. So into Chris Porter, I didn't realise he was on the pitch. He's uh, been in good goal scoring form recently, twisting and turning, trying to find a ball outside if he possibly can. Come on, Chris. He's got great feet as Chris Porter. Into us. We'll do a cheeky misdirection. Go the other way. Shots deflected. Falls to Chris Porter and unfortunately snaps at it and it goes wide. But a decent passage to play. We're definitely on top in this second half right now. So uh, hopefully we can extend the lead. If not, just hold out for this 1 0 lead. Well, down the outside to Murphy, he's been able to find us, find Chibangu, he gives it a whack, he's blocked Porter on the uh, follow-up, straight at the goalkeeper, but long passes have gone up one, that's decent, 25 of 25 key passes now apparently, so far in our uh, professional career, we're getting a lot of achievements, or accomplishments in this, uh, in this particular game, maybe we'll go up to a 75 overall after this, I'm not entirely too sure, we'll have to wait and see, we've stolen it away, Give it a cheeky step over, turn inside. Can we finesse into the bottom corner? Oh, I've put it wide. 
Wowzers, I cannot tell you how much I really, really want the finesse shot trait. That is one of my favourite traits to have on a pro, and that is exactly why you need the finesse shot trait in that situation. Unfortunate, but uh, we're still 1-0 up, so fingers crossed that will uh, not change, at least in a negative fashion, and we'll, uh, we'll be able to maintain our advantage. Got a man on the overlap there, if I can find him. Oh, we can't quite, but the ball's dropped to us. Now, uh, I need a, a runner, please. Can you go down the line? Thanks. Intitcher Bangu is going to cut back inside. It's a lovely cross looking for Chris Porte. He's brought it down. I'm going to call for a pass. I probably shouldn't have. I've been a little bit greedy. We've hit the post. It's hit the goalkeeper and gone out for a corner. Can we come any closer to getting a goal in this game? I was a little bit greedy calling for it off Porter there. But decent strike. Cut, curling away from the goalkeeper. Hits him on the back. That's so close to going into the back of the net. Rebounding back off the goalkeeper. The corner is coming sort of our way. Porter's up. Another great save by the goalkeeper. Arnold will have another corner in second half stoppage time. Less players in the box this time. Perhaps uh, we kind of can see the, uh, the second half coming to a close as this corner gets cleared. Perhaps the referee will blow his whistle. Now he has done. Robin shoot doesn't get the chance to break away. It finishes Stevenage nil. Sheffield United 1. We pick up the three points that we so dearly craved. We got an assist as well to uh, hopefully ensure that uh, we've now finished our league objective for the season or one of our four league objectives for the season picking up five of five assists in the league so our tenth assist overall we picked up the one accomplishment for that didn't we I think it was vision plus one uh, let's see we just had a match rescheduled we won't spend too much time looking at that but as you can see we've actually got nine assists now in total for our career I'm not really too sure why it gave me the accomplishment for ten but as you can see at the top right it says set up a minimum of five goals for the team. We have done that is one accomplishment already achieved. We just need one more goal as well. We could have had that in the previous game. We might get it in this uh, area cup final first leg against Brentford though. We've been selected again up, lo up top alongside Jefferson. And uh, unfortunately it's only two days later. But we're playing yellow again considering uh, Brentford have a very, very similar uh, home shirt to, uh, to ours. So uh, hopefully we can get a good performance in this one. I'm not too sure how much stamina I'm going to have, considering it's so short after that first game. But we'll jump into it now. This has kind of been one continuous, really long clip. But hopefully we can come out with another win and uh, stand us in good stead for the second leg of this uh, area final, the Johnson's Paint Trophy. I think we get a turn in. We can. We've got the acceleration to get away. I'm just going to have to hit this across goal. Oh, it's a great strike as well. Button, the goalkeeper. The great save up towards his left-hand side. We'll take the corner, though. Is it going to come in towards us or is it going to try and pick out someone else? Is going to come in towards us. Can I win the header? Uh, I'm not really too sure what's happened, but we have picked up a penalty. Uh, I won't bother having a look at a replay. That Oh my God, we're going to get the chance to take our first penalty. I'm so excited. Uh, we haven't taken any yet, not even in pre-season at Chelsea, not even in any of the games so far we've played for Sheffield United. I'm not even too sure what my penalty rating is. We'll have a look and see what the little green bar is. It's tiny. We pick up our first ever penalty. We're going to go top left. Goalkeeper's gone the right way, but he hasn't been able to get there. Cisnoy scores his first penalty of his career. Fantastic. We're one up away from home in the first leg of the area final, the Johnson's Paint Trophy. I'm not too sure whether away goals count. Let me know in the comment section down below if they do or not, because that could be vital as we head into uh, the second leg. But we take an early 1-0 lead. Great pen. Keeper went the right way, but fortunately for us, it was just accurately placed into that far left-hand side. 1-0. Flint plays the ball around the outside to us. We'll go for a step over, step inside. I'll try and finesse it from distance. God, the oh, not really too sure where that was going or what the goalkeeper was doing there, to be completely honest. But we'll take another corner. We're only in the 10th minute. We have a chance to go 2-0 up here. The ball's coming in towards whoever that was on the penalty spot. I couldn't quite see who it was. Here's Doyle. I'm going to call for it out here. We've got it to our feet. We've been tackled, but we've picked up a free kick. Are we going to get the chance to take the free kick as well? Are we going to get both set pieces for us? I wouldn't. I would presume not, considering we haven't taken a single free kick either for our uh, career so far. We are getting it. Wow, they're giving me absolutely everything. Free kick accuracy of 58. Wow, penalties of 70, although that would have been 69. Giggity. But uh, let's try and. I may not have hit that hard enough. It's gone over the ball. <gasps> first free kick to go along with our first penalty as well. <laughs> oh my days. This is absolutely superb. 20. It's nobody a cop. Oh my god! So many accomplishments as well. That was a glorious free kick. If the wall had jumped, they probably would have got there, but it dipped in front of the goalkeeper. That was phenomenal. We've got a free kick and a penalty in this one that went up and down over the wall. That was a really good penalty, considering we've only got 58 free kick accuracy. I am delighted with that movement on it, uh, right to left and up and down. That's glorious. It's Sheffield United 2, Brentford 0. Into Scalgill. 
He's got us on the edge of the box. Go for a step over and a turn inside. We could be in for a hat trick. We'll get the shot away. It's blocked. 75 of 75 shots on target now after picking up the 70 in uh, the previous game. You can see how many shots we're currently having in this episode. Quite a few. And uh, oh, great tackle from Philo. Philo, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name to be completely honest. But we're on the attack again. Scalgal into Flynn. It looks like this uh, this chance is going to peter out, unfortunately. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to keep putting the pressure on. Hopefully, they'll make a mistake. He has done. Oh, hat trick, hat trick, hat trick, hat trick, hat trick, hat trick, hat trick. Horrific mistake from the goalkeeper. It's a hat trick for us. 3 0 Sheffield United away from home in the first leg. If away goals do count, you have to say that that's probably tied, done, and dusted. If they don't, still pretty one sided heading into the second leg. But we're going to pick up a hat trick. Absolutely delighted. Outside the right foot. A little bit unnecessary, but also a little bit unnecessary. Being on another striker. Jefferson's gone off. Billy Payne has come on. We're on a 9.8 rating now. We have managed to pick up our second hat trick of our career. A goal from open play to go along with a penalty and. A free kick, and we could be in again here. I'm going to try and get an assist if I can. We'll lob it over the top. No, it's not going to come to anything. But 3 0 to us, three goals to us. Very, very convincing win here away at Brentford. There's the final whistle, then. It does finish 3 0 to us. A glorious hat trick, a penalty, a free kick, and a, just a genuine mistake from the goalkeeper that leaves us with a tap in to give us our third. 3 0 for Sheffield United. Looks like we should be progressing through to the next round of the uh, of the Johnson's Paint Trophy to the actual national final as opposed to just the area final that we're playing in right now. But a hat trick is beautiful. Really, really pleased. 9.8 overall. We'll continue on. In the, uh, in the league in the next episode. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying your Easter holidays. Feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. If we could hit 100 again, that would be absolutely wonderful. Like I say, we've reached 75 overall as well. We now, we now are officially a gold player for Ultimate Team. Absolutely super. We've got to be one of the best players in League One as a whole right now. Fantastic goal scoring record this season. 33 matches played, 23 goals in our career all told. We're doing very, very well indeed. We've got a couple of games coming on uh, on Thursday night for this as well. But of course, there was be will have been an AC Milan at career mode episode uploaded earlier on today, and there will be another one, of course, tomorrow at one o'clock in your sub boxes on Wednesday. But that's all for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.